Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Sobelis channel. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Edge Shoe Soul Spray. So I've been using this for a good amount of time and I, I really wanted to put it to the test. I actually tried it on a good amount of shoes, testing it on different settings, testing it on different floors, testing it on different shoes. So this is my full honest review. If you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave a link in the description box. Uh, but yeah, it's of course traction is super important to me. You know, as far as like all the shoe categories go in my like reviews, traction. If it's bad, then I don't like the shoe, right? Uh, like everything else about the shoe can be amazing. The fit, support, materials are amazing. Cushions amazing. But if the, if it doesn't stick well, then I don't really want to play in it. You know what I mean? Uh, and vice versa. If the traction is really good, but then like the cushions mediocre, materials are like not that nice but it you know it's it's thin and it conforms to my foot pretty well uh fits me pretty I, I guess fits up there you know fits pretty important but if it fits me pretty well and everything else is like eh then uh, i still like that shoe because the traction is good you know what i mean so yeah and also if you like look at any of my top performers all of them have really good traction so uh can you make traction better right and the the thing that we do of course is you know, usually, you know, basketball shoes have pretty good traction on a clean court. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it can vary, of course. There are shoes that have really good bites and shoes that are like adequate or like pretty good. Uh, but for the most part, I don't really mind it all too much. You know, like most of the time if I'm playing on a clean court, it's pretty damn good uh, no matter what basketball shoes I'm playing in. It, it, so, there are some that are really bad though. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like sliding around even on a clean court, which sucks. I don't know how uh, it passed like testing and i don't know how it's on market you know what i mean it's a basketball shoe but anyways uh, but for the most part on a clean court it's good right but most of us are playing on a dusty court you know what i mean like i play on a dusty court okay so they refinished my basketball court but they don't clean it right so it's been a couple of weeks it was really clean for the first couple of weeks but now it's like pretty dirty because they never clean it, you know what I mean? So I've been using this on like the old surface and I haven't really needed to use this on the new surface when it's clean, but I was also trying it now because it's getting a little bit dirtier as well. So yeah, I, I even tried it on like the, the flow outsoles, like the flow, uh, you don't really need it all too much, but actually did work, right? So uh, the main selling point in this is that you spray it on your shoe if it's dirty. Like if you're playing on a dusty court and you're sliding around, you just spray it on your outsole, right? So let's take, for example, the PG6. I mean, the PG6 has phenomenal traction anyway, so I don't really need to use it, but I did use it on like the good traction as well. And also the shoes that didn't really have good traction either, like the Don Issue 4. So of course, when we're playing on a dirty court, we wipe with our hands, which is unsanitary and it's kind of annoying, you know what I mean? Uh, but that's just what we do. You know, like if dust and dirt builds up on the shoe, just kind of wipe it off and then you're good to go and you have pretty good stops again, right? But the selling point of this is that you just spray this on your outsole, right? Let it dry a little bit. It takes a couple of seconds to dry, but once it does, you just bite through that dust, right? And how does it perform? It actually performs pretty well. And most of the shoes that I have been playing in, uh, it works very, very well. And I don't know what kind of like, what's going on in this. You know, they have magic juice in here or something, but yeah, here are the steps, right? It says spray shoe soles right before activity instantly enhance grip agility and injury prevention of course I mean, if you're sliding around a, a lot then it, you can get hurt right and it's fast drying non-toxic non-sticky and counters dust so i used it two ways right so oh, my first way was uh I, I was using it wrong uh but i just wanted to test how it would work right so i just sprayed it on the court first and then kind of just like <laughs> put my shoe over it a little bit and that's that works a little bit but you're actually supposed to spray it onto the outsole right you know just like once is fine and then just let it dry and then uh, it actually works really well on like a moderately dusty court to a pretty dusty court right if you're playing on a really dusty court it still picks up dust you know that's what i found out right so if you're playing on a really dirty court uh, i found out that you know it has like you get a good couple of stops more than if you were just you know wiping with your hand but then still picks up dust pretty fast so uh, if you're playing on a really really dirty and really dusty court then it's not the best right but if you're playing on a moderately dusty court to a pretty dusty court then uh, this is actually a very good option and very good alternative so first of all if you have a shoe that's not biting as well then this will definitely improve the traction right and also if you're kind of sick of 
you know, wiping off dust, then this also is a great option, right? I would actually say it improved the traction and also it didn't pick up dust that quickly after I put this on, right? So yeah, it definitely did surprise me and I actually just keep this in my bag. It's very small, right? It's a very small bottle. So it doesn't take up that much space in my bag. And I just put it in a little pocket in my bag. And then once I need it, I just spray it on, right? But of course, the annoying thing is that you have to spray it, right? So of course, after every game, you know, in my gym, we usually go to 15, right? So I just spray it on before every game and I'm good to go. Uh, but then when it, if it's like on a really dusty surface, uh, I don't really have time to like go back to my bag and then spray it again and then wait for it to dry and then go play. That definitely is a, a negative of this product, of course. You know, if you're just uh, wiping your shoe, you just stay on the court and just wipe right but overall it does work very well and if you don't mind the spraying and you want to improve the traction and minimize dust pickup then uh, the edge spray is actually a very good option the spray is going for 35 bucks uh, which is kind of expensive i thought you know it's, it's a very small bottle it's two fluid ounces and it's good for around 360 sprays so i definitely think it's a little bit more on the expensive side of things but if you want to have a good time and improve your traction on uh, kind of like your dirty court then uh, this is a great option. But anyways, that about concludes my review of the Edge Soul Spray. Again, if you guys do want to cop, I'll try to leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.